Hello friends, welcome to the Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain the IoT functional block diagram to you. Before starting the session, let me show you the outlines of this video. So, in this video, first of all, I will discuss the logical design of IoT. After that, I will explain the IoT functional block diagram. In my last video, I have explained the physical design of IoT. In the physical design, I explained physical aspects such as things, devices, and IoT protocols. In this video, first of all, I will explain the meaning of logical design to you. The logical design of IoT explains the conceptual understanding of the IoT ecosystem. Let's understand this step by step. The logical design of IoT explains the conceptual representation of various components and entities within the IoT system. So here, we are dealing with exactly how the conceptual understanding of the IoT ecosystem is achieved using logical design. The logical design will focus more on the functional aspects of the IoT solution. The logical design of IoT contains three major parameters. The first is the IoT functional block diagram, which I will explain in this very video. After this, I will make two other videos that will be based on basic communication models and communication APIs. So, in this video, I will explain the IoT functional block diagram, which is a parameter of the logical design of IoT. Let's see how the IoT functional block diagram is structured. You can observe that in the IoT functional block diagram, we have six components. The first component is the device. When it comes to devices in IoT, it is important to know that end devices basically consist of sensors and actuators. Sensors will sense physical data such as temperature, moisture data, or even gas data. Sensors are used to sense physical data. Actuators provide you with a physical response. For example, you can use a valve or a motor as an actuator. To obtain a physical response, we will utilize actuators and to sense physical data, we will employ sensors on end devices, right? Additionally, an IoT ecosystem can have multiple devices such as IoT gateways or other devices like routers. These are the devices that we use for communication. These devices are used for the exchange of data, right? IoT Things refers to those IoT devices that have sensors and actuators which will sense data and provide it to the cloud. There are also several devices in between to deliver the data to the cloud, as I mentioned, such as IoT gateways, routers, and storage devices. Along with IoT devices, we will have actuators through which we need to provide a physical response. So when a physical response needs to be given to IoT devices from the cloud, the devices in between will come into play to provide that physical response and through these devices, we will transfer the data to the IoT devices. So in these devices, you will observe hardware components which include sensors and actuators. By using sensors and actuators, we will sense the environment, collect data, and perform actions based on that data processing. We will use actuators to perform actions based on the data and we will use sensors to sense the data. This is how the devices function. The second block is the communication block. The communication block plays a very essential role in the IoT ecosystem. Here, communication takes place with respect to various standards. For example, if you have a small local area network, especially a wireless local area network, then there will be some devices in it. That small network will communicate using certain specific protocols. For that small network, there could be Zigbee protocol or Wi-Fi protocol. Once this small network detects some data, that data will be sent to an IoT gateway or router, right? After that, the router will send that data to the internet. So router-to-router -router communication will take place using internet protocols, IP protocols, which could be IPv4 or IPv6. 
For a small wireless area network, various protocols are available in the IoT ecosystem which includes Zigbee, Six Lopan, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth protocols, right? The communication block is a critical component of an IoT system. It is responsible for managing the exchange of data and information between various devices and the central system based on protocols. The central system will be on the cloud or you could say it will be on the internet so the devices communicate with the internet. The devices are communicating with the internet. There will be different protocols in between. How those protocols are managed falls under the communication block. The next section is services. An IoT system has different types of services. These include device monitoring, where we monitor the device and observe its parameters, such as its location, so device monitoring is an essential service. Then there are device control services. Various device control services exist. For example, sensors sense data, but whatever data is sensed needs to be sent to the cloud. To send it to the cloud, we have to give commands to the sensors. At the same time, there will also be an application on the cloud. That application will give commands to the actuator. These commands are given to the sensors and actuators according to the device control services. It is very essential in IoT. Then there is another service which is based on database publishing. Continuously, the data generated by the sensors will be uploaded to the cloud. After formatting this data, it is published. For example, first you will gather the data. From that data, we will extract meaningful insights. To provide meaningful insights, algorithms using artificial intelligence or machine learning will segregate the data. On this basis, we will publish only the meaningful data. So, data publishing services are present. Along with that, there are also services based on device discovery. How devices are functioning and how much data is coming from a particular region. All these things fall under services. On the cloud, various types of services are easily available, such as how IP protocols route data. That service is also essential. The next section is management. The management section encompasses various functions, including overseeing the regulation of the entire IoT ecosystem. An IoT ecosystem comprises several key components. How all those blocks function together is handled within the management block. The next section is security. Security of IoT systems is very important. It is necessary to safeguard the IoT system. When you want to safeguard it, there are some basic things that you will always do. Let me give an example. For example, authentication and authorization of the connection. When you transfer data, you will always use data encryption and decryption. Through authorization, authentication, and encryption, we safeguard the entire IoT ecosystem so that hackers cannot pose any threat to the system, right? Security plays a very crucial role. The reason for this is that all the data is available on the internet. That's why we have to safely guard that data. For this, security is absolutely essential. The last block is the application. In the IoT architecture, I have also explained the application block. In the IoT ecosystem, the application block takes inputs from several places. It will take input from real-time sensor data. It will also take input from the data warehouse. The application block also takes input from advanced technologies like machine learning and AI. Based on these inputs, the application contains certain algorithms through which it will send commands to the actuator. The application provides you with a user interface for the entire application. For example, you will use the application on your mobile device. There are some algorithms before you use the application. We will make decisions through those algorithms. Before making a decision, the application will provide you with a user interface. 
So in IoT, the application serves as a user interface to interact with the IoT system. In this way, the different blocks are structured in the IoT functional block diagram. I sincerely hope that you liked this video and watched it attentively. Thank you for your time and support.